This short demo will cover the basic setup tasks after you install Donation on your computer. When you run Donation for the first time, you will normally first see a window asking whether you're a first-time user or a returning user. The only exceptions are if you have a program that Donation can automatically convert from on your computer, such as Membership Plus, in which case you'll be prompted to do that conversion. In this case, we will accept the default of being a first-time user and click OK. The next window allows you to specify the year for which you want to start entering data. You can accept the default of the current year or change it, then click OK. Next, enter the basic information about your organization. I'll do that quickly. I have chosen the option for now for the receipts for English Canada that can also be changed later. Canadian organizations need to fill in their business number in this charitable number field. U.S. organizations may fill in their tax ID there, in which case it will appear on their charitable receipts, but this is optional. The evaluation version, until you have paid for donation, is limited to use for 60 days and will only create sample receipts. Click Continue to get to the main window. There are a few other setup windows you may want to visit before you start your data entry, although you can also come back to them at any time later. First, let's go to Maintenance, Donation Categories, where we can enter any additional donation categories beyond the default one of General. Let's enter two more. So I click New, Building, Fund, and press Enter for Save. Enter again does New. Of course, you can also click the buttons and Special Fund. And close that. Now let's go to Maintenance and Receipt Options to which you should go to confirm that you will get the right receipt style and to enter any other important information. For Canada, we need to enter the city or town and province where the receipts are issued. If we wanted USA, we would do this and there'd be some other options to choose, but for now we'll do Canada. You can also examine the main window options. There are a number of options here. For more information, as with most windows in the program, click Help to see the help on it and you'll see that the help screen comes up with all sorts of information about what to do on this window. If you don't use an envelope or member number that you want recorded in the program, you can uncheck this field for showing that member or envelope number. We'll leave it checked. You can also give your own names to the six Freeform Other Info fields. Let's call this one Birthday. Only the first three of them, Other Info 1 through 3 here, are displayed by default in the Donor Details area, but the other three can be turned on if you wish. In fact, though, I'm going to turn off the second and third because I'm just using the Birthday field. There are other options on the Donations tab, Limited Users, and Pledges tabs. There are also several password options, as you can see. Instructions for this feature are clearly explained in the help. If you want to be able to send emails from donation, for instance to email receipts or letters, you can do this email sending configuration. That completes the basic setup for donation. Go to the next demo to see basic data entry and other usage.